After driving and driving and driving, they reached the campsite. It was even better than Henry's dream. The tents were as big as houses. Henry heard the happy sound of TVs blaring, music playing, and the children splashing and shrieking. The sun shone, the sky was blue. Wow, this looks great, said Henry. Today, we will be reading Horrid Henry's Holiday, which is part of the Horrid Henry book. If you haven't watched the previous three stories, click or tap on the I icon in the top right of your screen to access the playlist. Anyways, let's get straight into the book. Horrid Henry's Holiday Horrid Henry hated holidays. Henry's idea of a super holiday was sitting on the sofa eating crisps and watching TV. Unfortunately, his parents usually had other plans. Once, they took him to see some castles. But there were no castles. There were only piles of stones and broken walls. Never again, said Henry. The next year, he had to go to a lot of museums. Never again, said Mum and Dad. Last year, they went to the seaside. The sun is too hot, Henry whined. The water's too cold, Henry whinged. The food is yucky, Henry grumbled. The bed is lumpy, Henry moaned. This year, they decided to try something different. We're going camping in France, said Henry's parents. Hooray, said Henry. You're happy, Henry, said Mum. Henry had never been happy about any holiday plans before. Oh, yes, said Henry. Finally, finally, they were doing something good. Henry knew all about camping from Moody Margaret. Margaret had been camping with her family. They had stayed in a big tent with comfy beds, a fridge, a cooker, a loo, a shower, a heated swimming pool, a disco, and a great big giant TV with 57 channels. Oh boy, said Horrid Henry. Bonjour, said Perfect Peter. The great day arrived at last. Horrid Henry, Perfect Peter, Mum and Dad boarded the ferry for France. Henry and Peter had never been on a boat before. Henry jumped on and off the seat. Peter did a lovely drawing. The bugs went up and down and up and down. Henry ran back and forth between the aisles. Peter pasted stickers in his notebook. The boat went up and down and up and down. Henry sat on a revolving chair and spun round. Peter played with his puppet. The boat went up and down and up and down. Then Henry and Peter ate a big, greasy lunch of sausages and chips in the cafe. The boat went up and down and up and down and up and down. Henry began to feel queasy. Peter began to feel queasy. Henry's face went green. Peter's face went green. I think I'm going to be sick, said Henry, and threw up all over Mum. I think I'm going to be, said Peter, and threw up all over Dad. Oh no, said Mum. Never mind, said Dad. I just know this will be our best holiday ever. Finally, the boat arrived in France. After driving and driving and driving, they reached the campsite. It was even better than Henry's dreams. The tents were as big as houses. Henry heard the happy sound of TVs blaring, music playing, and the children splashing and shrieking. The sun shone. The sky was blue. Wow, this looks great, said Henry. But the car drove on. Stop, said Henry. You've gone too far. We're not staying in that awful place, said Dad. They drove on. Here's our campsite, said Dad. A real campsite. Henry stared at the bare rocky ground under 
the cloudy grey sky. There were three small tents flapping in the wind. There was a single tap. There were a few trees. There was nothing else. It's wonderful, said Mum. It's wonderful, said Peter. But where's the TV, said Henry. No TV here, thank goodness, said Mum. We've got books. But, but where are the beds, said Henry. No beds here, thank goodness, said Dad. We've got sleeping bags. But, but, but where's the pool, said Henry. No pool, said Dad. We'll swim in the river. Where's the toilet, said Peter. Dad pointed at a distant cubicle. Three people stood waiting. All the way over there, said Peter. I'm not complaining, he added quickly. Mum and Dad unpacked the car. Henry stood and scowled. Who wants to help put up the tent, said Mum. I do, said Dad. I do, said Peter. Henry was horrified. What? We have to put up our own tent? Of course, said Mum. I don't like it here, said Henry. I want to go camping in the other place. That's not camping, said Dad. Those tents have beds in them and loos and showers and fridges and cookers and TVs. Horrible, Dad shuddered. Horrible, said Peter. And we have such a lovely snug tent here, said Mum. Nothing modern, just wooden pegs and poles. Well, I want to stay there, said Henry. We're staying here, said Dad. No, screamed Henry. Yes, screamed Dad. I am sorry to say that Henry then had the longest, loudest, noisiest, shrillest, most horrible tantrum you can imagine. <laughs> Did you think that a horrid boy like Henry would like nothing better than sleeping on hard, rocky ground in a soggy sleeping bag without a pillow? You thought wrong. Henry liked comfy beds. Henry liked crisp sheets. Henry liked hot baths. Henry liked microwave dinners, TV and noise. He did not like cold showers, fresh air and quiet. Far off in the distance, the sweet sound of loud music drifted towards them. Aren't you glad we're not staying in that awful noisy place? said Dad. Oh yes, said Mum. Oh, yes, said Perfect Peter. Henry pretended he was a bulldozer come to knock down tents and squash campers. Henry, don't barge the tent, yelled Dad. Henry pretended he was a hungry Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rawr. Ow, shrieked Peter. Henry, don't be horrid, yelled Mum. She looked up at the dark, cloudy sky. Going to rain, said Mum. Don't worry, said Dad. It never rains when I'm camping. The boys and I will go and collect some more firewood, said Mum. I'm not moving, said horrid Henry. While Dad made a campfire, Henry played his boombox as loud as he could, stomping in time to the terrible music of the killer boy rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Henry, turn down that noise this minute! said Dad. Henry pretended not to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry, yelled Dad, turn that down. Henry turned the volume down the teeniest, tiniest fraction. The terrible sounds of the killer boy rats continued to boom over the quiet campsite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Campers emerged from their tents and shook their fists. Dad, switched off Henry's tape player. Anything wrong, Dad? asked Henry in his sweetest voice. No, said Dad. Mum and Peter returned carrying armfuls of firewood. It started to drizzle. This is fun, said Mum. Whoosh, 
slapping a mosquito. Isn't it? said Dad. He was heating up some tins of baked beans. The drizzle turned into a downpour. The wind blew. The campfire hissed and went out. Never mind, said Dad brightly. We'll eat our baked beans cold. Mum was snoring. Dad was snoring. Peter was snoring. Henry tossed and turned. But whichever way he turned in his damp sleeping bag, he seemed to be lying on sharp, pointy stones. Above him, mosquitoes whined. I'll never get to sleep, he thought, kicking Peter. How am I going to bear this for fourteen days? Around four o'clock on day five, the family huddled inside the cold, damp, smelly tent, listening to the howling wind and the pouring rain. Time for a walk, said Dad. Great idea, said Mum, sneezing. I'll get the boots. Great idea, said Peter, sneezing. <coughs> I'll get the max. But it's pouring outside, said Henry. So, said Dad, what better time to go for a walk? I'm not coming, said Horrid Henry. I am, said Perfect Peter. I don't mind the rain. Dad poked his head outside the tent. The rain has stopped, he said. I'll remake the fire. I'm not coming, said Henry. We need more firewood, said Dad. Henry can stay here and collect them and make sure it's dry. Henry poked his head outside the tent. The rain had stopped, but the sky was still cloudy. The fire spat. I won't go, thought Henry. The forest will be all muddy and wet. He looked round to see if there was any wood closer to home. That's when he saw the thick, dry, wooden pegs holding up all the tents. Henry looked to the left. Henry looked to the right. No one was around. If I just take a few pegs from each tent, he thought, they'll never be missed. When Mum and Dad came back, they were delighted. What a lovely roaring fire, said Mum. Clever of you to find some dry wood, said Dad. The wind blew. Henry dreamed he was floating in a cold river, floating, floating, floating. He woke up. He shook his head. He was floating. The tent was filled with cold, muddy water. Then the tent collapsed on top of them. Henry, Peter, Mum and Dad stood outside in the rain and stared at the river of water. Gushing through their collapsed tent. All round them, soaking wet campers were staring at their collapsed tents. Peter sneezed. Achoo. Mum sneezed. Achoo. Dad sneezed. Achoo. Henry coughed, <coughs> choked, <coughs> spluttered, <coughs> and sneezed. Achoo. I don't understand it, said Dad. This tent never collapses. <laughs> what are we going to do? said Mum. I know, said Henry. I've got a very good idea. Two hours later, Mum, Dad, Henry and Peter were sitting on a sofa bed inside a tent as big as a house, eating crisps and watching TV. The sun was shining. The sky was blue. Now this is what I call a holiday, said Henry. V. If you've managed to watch all the way up until here, please leave a like and turn that subscribe button grey. If you already have, click on one of these two boxes to watch another one of my videos. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.